I guess I kind of understand more. It comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 1 to 3. This is the King James Version, and it reads, Dare any of you, having a matter against another, go to law before the unjust, and not before the saints? Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? Mm. And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge against to judge the smallest matters? Know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? So, it's a deep, it's deep, this one deep. One thing that I gathered from it, because I, I looked at it from a different perspective, I, not so much judging, but it's more so advice. So like, it's better for you to go for advice on certain things to people of God instead of going to the world. Mm. The world, their, their view would always be calm, and it would always be natural, it would always be fleshy um, in terms of... Ah, words. Okay, so basically it, it would be better to go for counseling for even to deal with, 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 with miniature disputes and everything like that, even if you have an odd against a brother, it's better to go to a believer yeah. who, are, who are actually true believers. Not just a believer, true believers who actually follow Christ and who actually have that kind of relationship with him because a lot of people call themselves Christians but they don't actually... <laughs> That's it, that's that a lot of persons call themselves Christians, but they don't. Let, they they still necessarily turn to the world for, to deal with certain situations. Because you can't, you literally can't be in church preaching up a spell and everything like that, and then two seconds later you'll be out there cussing somebody because they they put a little a little thing in your car or because they put a scratch in your car. Or whatever. <laughs> in the same breath, you turning around and you trying, you saying you oh, you want to give counsel to the to, to people who trying to come to you for like certain advice and certain stuff like that. But at first, you need to clean yourself. Dirt, yeah, you clean that. dirt. First of all, <laughs> like I mean, sorry, I just saying it as it comes to me. Mm -hmm. But um, yes, yeah, basically saying you have to, you have to learn how to clean yourself within. Not only spiritually but mentally as well. Because there's a lot of things that goes on in person's minds as well that construe certain decisions that they make. And yeah, so it's basically you have to clean yourself before you could help clean somebody else. Yeah, yeah those words. Yeah. Okay, and <laughs> also where it says we will basically be judging the world. So another reason why we should clean up ourselves because um this I think this was a part of Saturday's mentorship where we basically was talking about how Christians, true Christians aren't to work online mentorship or over WhatsApp and stuff. How Christians aren't to look the same way that the world looks and everything like that. If if at some point when the rapture comes we're supposed to be judging the world how to look if the world and Christians look the same but we judging one another. So it's basically mm. you pointing you pointing your finger at a mirror. Mm. So saying, oh well, mm. you want tie, but you won't yeah. even got no shoes on. Mm. You know? Like how you can tell how you can tell me. <laughs> no, like legit, like cause uh, sorry, but um, That makes sense, that makes sense. Continue man. Because it's like it's like how how you could how you could say, well, oh as a Christian, I'm judging you, but it's not the fact that I'm judging you, it's the man in which I am judging you in. If I'm coming to you in, in like a Oh, I'm better than you standpoint you're not gonna receive what it is that I'm trying to tell you because you, you, uh, it, uh, it's already in your mind that hey you don't, you don't think you're better than me you're like, arrogant hey, yeah. hey, you calm down. <laughs> 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 I want everybody to be able to hear me but like like I mean one. I don't know if y'all understand what I'm trying to say <laughs> but it's like <laughs> it's like you can't you, you first have to position yourself in a way where persons actually feel comfortable coming to you for certain stuff, coming to you for certain advice, coming to you for even even some kind of encouragement. Because at the end of the day, as the scripture says, we're supposed to be judging the world. We can't judge the world if we look like the world. Mm, preach, preacher. Preach, 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 I don't even know what to say this time. Oh, Come on. Yeah. This girl's long. I teach you. Two minutes. Hold on, what you saying, dog? Hold on, what you saying, dog?
<laughs> Hallelujah. That's, that's Glory. Right. That's 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 Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Right. So, 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 right. <laughs> I want to do just Esther chapter 4 verse 14 but I had to take it back one because <laughs> you know y'all 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 got me y'all got me turned out 